Let's look at question 13. In the context of generative AI, what are tokens and how are they used in the process of text generation? And then we have four options. Option A tokens are individual words processed by the model used to measure the accuracy of the model's predictions. Option B tokens are individual units of text, such as characters, words, or sub-word fragments, used by the model to process and generate text. Option C tokens are metadata tags applied to text data, helping to organize and categorize information for the model. Option D tokens are sections of a document divided to improve the model's processing speed and reduce computation costs. To solve this question, the first step is to understand the purpose of each option and then eliminate one that clearly doesn't fit. Understand the concept. Recognize that tokens are essential to how a model processes and generates text, focusing on small, meaningful units rather than larger chunks or metadata. Discard options that confuse tokens with metadata tags, document sections, or whole words exclusively, as these do not accurately represent the role of tokens in generative AI. Now match the feature to the need. Identify that tokens are related to text generation and processing, which aligns with option B. Let's take a look at each option one by one. Option A tokens are individual words processed by the model. This is partially correct, but overly simplistic. Tokens can be smaller than whole words, such as subword units, which allows the model to handle more complex language patterns. Option B tokens are individual units of text. Tokens are the fundamental units of text that a model processes. These can be characters, whole words, or subword fragments, depending on the tokenization method used. The model converts input text into tokens, processes them to learn patterns, and generates output by predicting the next token in the sequence. Option C tokens are metadata tags. This is incorrect because tokens are not metadata, but the actual units of text that the model uses for processing. Option D tokens are sections of a document. This is misleading because tokens are not large sections, but the smallest meaningful units of text that the model processes. By applying this reasoning, option B is the correct answer.